Hey everybody, it's Pava. I'm starting to feel a lot better. Turn this light on. I'm starting to feel a lot better now. I'm starting to, starting past the stones. They're painting my butt. Yeah, he pa he passed a big one at about four o'clock this morning. Yeah. I see my dog today. He's proud of all the weight I'm losing and my A1C's down and everything. He's proud of that. Mm-hmm. So, this is at night time, and you know, I, I'll have a second part in the next day, but this is what you do with chicken if you want to cook it on the grill and save it for the next day. You want to marinate it overnight. So, what I'm making tonight, uh, tomorrow is I'm going to make a maple garlic. The maple garlic seasoning right here. Make a little garlic, rye, whiskey, chicken, barbecue. So, what you need to do is one, two tablespoons of chicken base. Next thing you want is one tablespoon of onion powder. Use onion powder. Get low on that too, I see. One tablespoon of onion powder. I got more of our black pepper. Yep. And it says it's not going to come out. <laughs> Half a tablespoon of black pepper. We can all guess what that one is, can't we, guys? Kinder season, butcher's all purpose. One tablespoon of that. And then we're making this maple garlic. So you want. Two tablespoons of that. And you can get this at Sam's. <coughs> Shoot. Right up my nose. <laughs> Sam's or Walmart. It's where you can get this at. And it's actually pretty good on chicken. You can put it on pork too. I've done it before. Make a sweet pork. And the next thing is. Let me wipe my spoon off. Get all the dust off in it when you're seasoning. You want a couple of tablespoons of butter. Mmm. Now the fun part. This is rye whiskey. You can use Jack. Jim Bean has a rye whiskey. Um... There's a couple companies out there that's got a rye whiskey. This is Jack Daniels. Or Moonshine. Or Moonshine. A half a shot of it. It's very strong. Yeah. I mean, this one's probably more stronger because... It's been sitting. Sitting and forming. Mm-hmm. You want to mix this up real good. It's going to smell strong, but once it cooks on there, it's a lot of flavors. Strong, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Next thing is, pour it over your chicken thighs. You can use whole chicken, half chicken. I'm going to use chicken thighs. You can use any part of the chicken. Pour it over the chicken. And this is what you do. You let it sit overnight. Let that sit overnight and marinate. And the next day, get your grill fired up. I'll show you that when I fire up my grill. And you don't put this directly on heat. A lot of people like when they barbecue or cook on grills. A lot of people put it directly on heat. And that's why it overcooks. You put it offset. 
they call it. You put it off to the side, and then you got your heat over here, and you got your chicken over here. Let it cook. When it gets started getting close to it, and you flip it over and do it again until it's about done, and then you add, I'll show you, barbecue sauce to it after that. You give it a sweet taste. So when it's done, it'll be perfect for you the next, that day. But this is the best time to do it, is at nighttime. Let it marinate so it'll be ready for you next day. All the flavors will be soaked into the chicken and it'll be perfect. But and I appreciate all the new subscribers. The people that ain't subscribed that are watching this video, please subscribe. There's 45% people that watch this video that is not subscribed. Please subscribe. You would enjoy this channel. We're, we're a welcome family. We're very appreciate everybody. We do donations to people like today. I did a donation today. I gave somebody a bowl, a half a container of chili that we saved for our blessing box. I gave it to a needy family today. They didn't have no food, and the lady said she wasn't going to get any money until later on. So I took the chili directly out of my freezer because I usually save some. And I put it in my freezer in case somebody needs it out there in the blessing box or we're going to eat it for lunch one day. I always save my leftovers. And I gave, she had two little kids with her. And I gave her a bucket of it with some crackers. And I told her to feed them kids because you need to give your kids something to eat. I felt bad for her. But that's how I am. I'm a, heart, I'm a person who's got a heart of gold. If family needs something to eat, I understand that. They're going to get something neat from me if they need help. That's You'll how give I the shirt them. off your back, too, if you needed to. Yep. That's how I am. I, I, I give my kids everything that I have before I buy what I need. If I need something so bad, but my kids need it, I give it to them first before I take it. And that's how I am. You know, that's just the way I am. You know, like, you know, my kids need the soap for the clothes and stuff. But I need this. But I'm looking at myself and saying, no, I don't need it. They need it first. That's how I am. That's the way I was raised. And that's the way Mama was raised. That's how we was raised. We're Southern people. We go for our kids first. And needy families need help. We're there for them too. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow when I get ready to fire up the grill and show you that that possibility of this. So, y'all have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Oh, hey, everybody. See, last night I put that uh, chicken and let it marinate overnight in the refrigerator. Now, I'm putting it on the grill. Just soaked all night on in the chicken. What I'm gonna try to do is put this underneath there and that juices that I already got in there. Let it get hot. And the juices from the chicken drip down in there. So I can baste the chicken once it starts cooking more. So, working off chicken now. And I soaked all night and marinated all night. Like I said, best thing to do is if you're going to barbecue some marinated chicken or any kind of marinade, you want to marinate it overnight and then it'd be perfect the next day and it'd be soaked in it it gives the meat more flavor and once it's all down in there it's all perfect to go so this is that maple garlic um, maple garlic rye whiskey chicken is what it is 
and I showed you the season where you get the season at and it's actually pretty good but right now I'm letting it cook and I'll show you what it looks like at the end so there you go y'all I'll see you in a few peace all right y'all got the chicken done we got a little busy too got some greens collard greens and then I made some cheesy bacon mashed taters they're gonna be thick which cheese did you use? cheese in the bag that's why they're so thick but there's there's that look at that that pretty plate so this is the garden garden uh, garlic maple rye whiskey chicken grill it's easy to do it's delicious I hope you guys try it out try to get a video out on you guys today I'm still doing better than I have been for the last few days I'm starting to feel a lot better it's just I have kidney stones and they won't go away and my doctor's trying to get me in a specialist to get rid of them that's all I'm trying to do actually it's to prevent them from coming back yeah forbid them to come I back. don't know how they're gonna prevent them but <laughs> kidney stones is a kidney stone and if a kidney pain. stone wants to come it's gonna come you can't stop it and they're a pain in the butt I'll tell you I dealt with many of them but Saturday that was the worst Saturday, I never dealt with one like this. It put me, put me down. I mean, like a big man never been put down. I was put down. Put him down like a baby. Yeah, I was in that much pain. They they shot me up three different kinds of pain pills. Just uh. Well, there was morphine and then two shots of Dilaudid. Yeah, just to stop the pain. That's how much pain I was in. And I tried to fight it. I couldn't find it. It wouldn't let me rest one bit. Mm -mm. Not one bit. No. I was in so much pain. Now my left side's got one in. It's falling in. It's getting ready to fall out. It's a small one though, thank yeah. God. I can handle small ones, but them big ones? Nope. They'll make you pass out. But y'all have a great day. and Like, subscribe, and share out this video. And the people that ain't subscribers and watching the video please subscribe it ain't that hard to push that button i would love to see you guys subscribe i will shout you out when you subscribe all you have to do is give me your name and tell me where you're from so i know so i can shout you out so please subscribe and like the video and y'all have a great day peace